Nazi Nazo Twangwa Pa, Igunza Sapa, the street disciple. For the word, and of course, we'll have a mother like one again. Another day, another episode. Ya convo unscripted. Nikwasa Pa, the boy Wangwa Pa. Mse Silver Fox, and they told me one nicks up with me. I don't know. Episode two. This is the biggest podcast in town. <laughs> and if you doubt us, you saw the first guest. Yes. Now, check who the second guest is. It's your design. I think this opportunity could introduce the one and only. We are not for introduction, clearly. Anyway, I'm Mr. Matu Saizi. If you are about others, Nazungumzia. Babu, or win, Mueshimiwa, for that matter. Nast. Najua kuna aspirations zingine mimi hata tuambie not so long at time. Karibu boss. Asante Gunza. Opoa? Niko fiti kabisa. Mambo vipi Philip? Yes, fiti kabisa. Uko sawa. Hii jina babu kijana mdogo. Babu iko kwa ID. Of course babu iko kwa ID. Yeah, but oh. ni venye wisdom milikuwa mingi sana nikiwa mtoto. Nikiwa <laughs> mtoto. Ndio sasa ika escalate. Uh -huh. mm. okay. How did you move from Polo Ngili now to to Babu? Actually my name has always been uh, Babu Owino Polongili. Ah, okay. Yeah, way from, uh, it's my mom who used to call me that Babu, Babu, Babu. Ah, okay. It's what caught the eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's in my ID. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. Your mom? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, what about your dad? Uh, um, it's quite unfortunate that I got to be raised by a single mom. My dad passed on when I was in class three. So as a family, we didn't get to enjoy that uh dadship do we call it yeah. dad yeah. <laughs> yeah the fatherhood yeah yeah so i was raised by a single parent mm. from class three so it was quite unfortunate the journey was i can't say that it's regrettable the journey was well deserved uh -huh. yeah and this was in the in kisumu in kisumu mm. yeah, in Yalenda slums okay yes. how was it how was it for you growing up what are some of the fond memories that you have both the good and also those that you wouldn't wish for any other child anywhere you know Igunza, this life uh, whatever it gives you as at that moment you might think that life is not fair that life is very unbearable but many years down the line you get to know that probably something was being prepared for you yeah right now i get to appreciate my upbringing due to the fact that everything that happened in Nyalenda as at that time now i can use them it can give me another side of life. Now, when you tell me that you, you are going without food, I know what it is to go without food. Uh -huh. If you tell me you don't have school fee, I know what it is to lack school fee. If you tell me somebody is sick in the hospital, mm -hmm. I know because I'd passed through all that stage with my family. Mm -hmm. But uh, in Nyalenda, as things were, the way things were, you would wish them not to be the way they were. Yeah. Because... Uh, Having a single mom, we were three in our family, my elder sister, my brother, then I'm the last born. Mm -hmm. Then my, my sister was uh, married. There was early marriage because of the kind of lifestyle that we were living. Life was unbearable, so she had to go and find somewhere to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. My brother, on the other hand, uh, had to go and look for means to make uh, both ends meet. Mm -hmm. So I was left with my mom. Last born. I was the last one left with my mom, mm -hmm. and that is where now I learned we were brought up. Actually, we were not brought up, we were left to grow, mm -hmm. because uh, mom had to make a choice between bringing us up mm -hmm. and finding food for us. You know, most of the time, Philip, in life, uh, what affects us in life is upbringing. Yeah. And your upbringing will most likely determine your success in life. Mm -hmm. So in our situation, if evening comes, that's when your parent, your mom, will uh, ask for where you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, in the course of the day, unakula evil. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like that. Yeah. So mom was selling changa. I was helping her in, uh, in the business. Then from primary school, then uh, admitted to secondary school. I went to Kisumu Boys High School at uh, Kisumu Boys, still helping mom selling Changa. Then we were praying, uh, we were playing, uh, we were paying for the fees. Mm -hmm. There was no free primary education, mm -hmm. neither free secondary free education. Secondary. So we were forced to, we had to pay. So uh, as Babu had to sell Changa to raise my fees. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't an easy thing, believe you me. 
here and there mom used to get uh, sickling up and up early and we could as time sit in our house and just start crying with my mom because yeah. because imagine there's a 500 ml mm-hmm. bottle mm-hmm. the 500 ml yes. if you sell all of it mm-hmm. changa mm-hmm. a tot is 10 shillings a tot used to be 10 shillings so by the time you finish it that's when you sell around 300 400 shillings yeah. So how many of that how many people should get drunk for you to get money to pay school fees mm. yeah. school fee used to be around uh, 18000 in high school mm. yeah. so for you to raise money to reach that level then people must be really drunk in this, <laughs> in the slums yeah, exactly. you know? yeah. yeah and i can tell you that if you are, if you sell changa in the slums then you are the lowest of the lowest yeah. even why? the slums they are still levels even in the slums they are levels yeah. why because you are the one who's destroying other families but you have to destroy oh, other families for, for your survive, family to grow you to survive yeah. yeah so other women could come and say you know our husband has been spending time in your house yeah, what really what a lot yeah. of issues yeah so if you are in that business then believe you me you are the lowest yeah. and law enforcers you are to be much on that is the worst part of yeah. it mm. because during that period it was during Moy's era. era yes so policemen could come in our house they literally beat up people in the house yeah. children learn by what they see yes. not by what they hear so it is what i saw that made me make a decision in life that either i make it in life or nothing yeah. else <laughs> you make it or you make it i'm going to doing it making it yes so i could see my mom being whipped i could see other customers being whipped and i felt like okay this is how life can be this cruel So some of the things that we could uh, probably be doing in our adulthood age could be as a result of our upbringing. Mm. You see? But the only thing that I appreciate about that kind of lifestyle is that it hardened me. Yeah. It makes you jump a stage of being a child into yes. being 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 an adult an instantly. Adult yes. yes, because yes. you have to provide for your family. You have to do it. You have yes. to do whatever you can do so that you can put food on the table. Yes. So that lifestyle my brother it wasn't a walk in the park it was not a bed of roses but all in all i really appreciate going through that because if i didn't go through that i would have not been here and i've come to realize that god works mysteriously that he knows your vision he knows your destination but he will not tell you how to get there you've chatter your own course because should god tell you what you will go through yeah. to get there you, you, Even Joseph if you were told in the Bible that you are going to be sold as a slave yeah, yeah. you are going to go to prison you are yeah. my god just yeah. keep that vision you know yeah, <laughs> yeah but, so. but also but also here you are you're a very bright student you're this kid very sharp as a whip and everything else uh, so surely would you also use school as a way to run away from the chaos at home and everything else so that ukingia shule for these few hours i can forget about the tribulations at home yeah. so i'm just here to study how, how how is it that whatever you are going through your mom being beaten by the cops the life you mna leo siku hakuna kitu ya kukula but shule here you are studying what drove that and why did it not affect the concentration in, in class actually my my upbringing largely affected my school also largely affected because i remember uh, from primary school from class 3 all the way to class 8 there's no single day i was out of top 3 there was no single day okay. i was out of top 3 uh-huh. in kisumu boys there was no single day i was out of top 3 hey, like so was just a two podium position podium, 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 podium position yeah. there was no single day yeah. that i can tell you <laughs> that i was out of top 3 yeah. one hasn't okay. yes. that one that one is there they yes. also know <laughs> you see <laughs> but you see the concentration i could have not done my best mm because of the environment at home because so of the situation better even i mean i mean do number one <laughs> all through imagine on the day when i was doing my kcsc biology practicals mm. i was arrested a day before mm-hmm. a day before and you see the issue of the policemen they come focused yes. whatever they want they want it if yes. you don't have it mm. that's it yeah. so i was taken to central police station Then at Central Police Station there's a uh, this OCS called Wanyama. Mm-hmm. The following day mm-hmm. I started hitting the door because I was going to sit for my exams. Yes. But meanwhile I started negotiating. I started I tried negotiating with the cops 
to leave me because yeah. I was going to sit for exams. Yeah. And they told me, you think you're the only person who's going to school. That's the word that he told me. Yeah. And that cop the other day asked me for bursary. Whoa. Yes, that's something <laughs> very funny. Mm. I got a call out of nowhere. He told me, do you remember me? Yeah. There's a day he told me how he arrested me and how things were. Mm. He told me, please, I don't have money. I retired from the police service. Please help me with bursary. And I'm going to give him bursary. Did he let you out of the cell that morning? He didn't let me out. It is the OCS who helped me. It is the because I was knocking and, and, banging, and, the and banging the door and screaming and saying, when OCS came and I told him, I'm going, I have exams now. Yeah, I can't see miss if you want to take me back. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that guy is really, 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 he has a good heart. Mm -hmm. So he, he released a, a car. Mm -hmm. I was I was taken to Kisumu Boys. I didn't even go back to put on my uniform. Yeah, I just explained to the there. principal that we <laughs> met <laughs> two cells. <laughs> yeah, and I sat for my biology practicals, and uh, by God's grace, I passed. I passed my KCSE. I was called to do uh, business management yeah. at Ijaton University. But because I didn't get the grade that I really wanted, mm -hmm. I said I will never, I stopped going to Eostoria University. I said I don't want anything to do with the university in my life. So I came to Nairobi to hustle. Uh -huh. okay. So in Nairobi, there was a cousin of mine uh, called uh, John, John Omondi. Yeah. He used to stay at uh, Kabiria in mm -hmm. Satellite. Seti yeah. Kabiria hapo. Yes. Tunikuwa hapo na room nyumba moja 1500. Yes. So ume room, ilikuwa room kadogo. Mm -hmm. And then you use a curtain to separate yes. between the sitting room and, and the bedroom. bedroom. <laughs> and the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that is where now my cousin also is a very easy guy. He invited me over. He came, we stayed together. Then one day, uh, you know, my cousin was a kondi mm -hmm. conductor. Yes. Matatu Saza was helping him do the job, job mm -hmm. We got uh, access to a newspaper. Mm -hmm. He used to buy newspapers every morning. Yeah. Then I learned that there was a scholarship. There was an advert for a scholarship yes. at Millennium Academy. Mm -hmm. Scholarship for A-Levels, the Cambridge system. Yes. So my kuzo advised me just to apply for it and Bangaiza there. Yeah. yeah. So I, I did apply and then I was given a scholarship, 100% scholarship wow. to do A-Levels, mm -hmm. Millennium Academy, the Cambridge system. Yes. Uh, you can consider them as diploma courses. Mm -hmm. So there I did six diploma courses. Yeah. And while I was in Form 5, which is called AS, yeah. we were taken three candidates to do exams with Form 6 in the whole world. Mm -hmm. So in mathematics, I became number two. I got 97%. Global. Yeah. Globally, yeah. the whole world, I became number 97%. two. 97%. Yes. Yeah. So I was awarded a scholarship to go and study actual science in Southampton University. Yes. But the scholarship was 70%. Mm -hmm. The 30%, so from there, I couldn't afford that 30%. Mm -hmm. So I opted to join the University of Nairobi, did my actual science at the University of Nairobi. Then after my actual science, I did master's in actual science. Mm -hmm. Then I uh, joined law, did my degree in law, then my master's in law. Remember, I made a vow that I had to make it. Yeah, make it, make it. Yes. So I said, whatever it is, ruthless focus. Yes. Never How many years are you at the UN? UN was actual there actual four years, uh -huh. master's in actual, Two. one. Oh, one. Yes, then uh, law, no. four, years, four years, then yes. master's law. Ten so years. eight, ten yeah. years. But the juice was worth the squeeze. Yeah. <laughs> 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 when it comes to leadership, mm. I've always been a leader all my life. Mm. Primary school from class two, I was a prefect to yeah. class seven prefect. Uh, class seven to, to class six prefect, then class seven assistant head boy, mm -hmm. class eight head boy. Hey. Whole of high school uh, was a PE. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to be made a head boy, yeah. but because I was not boarding. Yeah, yeah that's what I wanted to I ask whether you are a day scholar. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I was a day scholar. Mm -hmm. Then in A levels, those two terms, I was a student leader for two terms, A levels. And then uh, the University of Nairobi, four terms student leader. Oh. Yeah, then uh, again, I'm Bakasi two terms. Then Nairobi governor, yeah. 
then after that president so zoya rais wako mapema so moja nilimanya private i was so bad in school walikasema sasa wewe ndio uache kupiga kelele class tutakufanya prefect ndio one how hard this job is is the only when it was prefect primary uh, high school actually <laughs> form 1 so after hiyo nikaona hizi wazani nikarudi huko so ni vizuri kuona hizi eh, so at sonu like what made you famous at sonu like nini kuna nini moja ulifanyanga kila mse akaanza kusikia jina babo you know you know in uh, sonu because i've been a leader throughout i was just supposed to do things differently yes so the different thing that i did was that i used to fight for the students rights. Yes. The most important right that students really needed was the right to access education. Yes. Where help if help delayed then babu I had no ways of negotiating That's and I didn't like nego- negotiation. Mm. Yeah, so if 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 given a choice to fight between law and by force mm-hmm. Force will give you the desired results. A combination of both, best. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they always say fight as a fox yes. to escape the traps, mm-hmm. or as a or, or as a lion yeah. to scare away the wolves. Mm-hmm. But a combination of both, mm-hmm. best. But uh, because all the times the people who are older than us, they were saying, you know, you are still, you are you are you are still not as mature as as we are. So they could not negotiate with you. So yes. then, what were we doing? We demonstrate. Which is allowed. It's a, it's a very good. It's, it's enshrined in yes. the constitution. Mm-hmm. So through the demonstrations, <clears throat> maybe some people when they already walisha make it, wakiwa na magari, tiaga si na wakula ukondani. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> traffic pia wana yes. delay kuenda jobs. Yeah. So some could uh, not perceive me as a as a good person maybe because of the demonstrations yeah. but you see me I was fighting for their children because of where I came from mm. I knew what it is to lack school fee mm. so if a child is not accessing help yes. means that this student will not go to class yeah. this student will not get money to buy food mm. this student will not get money to pay for accommodation mm. literally this student cannot do anything they won't even get uh, money for transport to bring them all the way from the village to the university in Nairobi. So I said I had to do what I had to do. And sometimes students. it landed you in trouble with the law enforcement. Yes, which is an occupational hazard. <laughs> those, are, those are the occupational hazards in politics. Mm-hmm. That sometimes you are arrested, yeah. sometimes you have issues here and there. But that is what that is the whole package. That is what comes with it. Na you were still seeking to move here still before KCSE. So that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know mimi na skianga watu wanasema ti they are arrested, yeah. they panic. Yeah. This is normal. Tuendelee. Na after KCSE KCSE uliachiliwa ama ulirudishwa korokoro. Actually when you were in drop, that's how they were in yacha. Najina ni bamba pia mimi nikiwa KCSE nilifanya KCSE pia mimi nilikuwa na escort wa police. Kwa nini? Sasa kulitokea strike. Yes. Wakasema mimi ndio nilizima stick. Wewe wakasema mimi ndio nilizima stick. So cuz I was in form 4 all the people who participated in form 1 2 3 walichujwa. Mhm. Wakakuwa expelled. Mimi nikakuwa pardoned as a suspect because I was sitting for my exam. Lakini we don't need you in school and I was a boarding school. So what you'll do utaenda kuishi kwa soko. So you'll be coming as a discola kama ama discola wengi. Mimi ngasema sana kwamba if ishi hapo utakuwa kesi wana polisi pa kwa soko. Alafu asubuhi ifika utapata wana kongo japo na kuleta kwa shule. Vitu kama zuri kuna tembe una sikia wewe kaki mswati. Hiyo design madevo na sema yes hiyo ndio kind of life nataka na kitu kama hizo. And then apata it's funny mali niliishi ilikuwa nyumba ya mwalimu. Ule mwalimu mmoja alihusika ama alikuwa <laughs> so yaka toka mm. akaenda fika or something mm. eh hey, mimi nikamwambia yo kimeuma na siku ilikuwa kana ma mobile phones ilikuwa zimeanza kuja hizo ma 2003 mm. mimi nikampigia nikamwambia eh nianze mimi nimechujwa lazima niishi kwa soko anaba mimi jangu hata siko nimekalia deposit enda si ni wiki mbili or something yeah, yeah. so pia mimi nikafanya my exams under the watch of the police 
Unagi. Na feel fit. it's part of life, it's yeah, normal. Mzi jaishi kwa balance juu hizi vitu. Yes. Ah, hii ni ni kitu normal. So at what point did you know you're becoming a politician? Cuz you already won, but at what point did you think now you knew naenda parliament? You know, I've always known that uh, I've always been a leader, mm. irrespective. Yeah. Way from the time I was in primary school yes. to being a uh, a leader throughout my life. Yes. So I knew, definitely I knew after campus, I definitely knew. Oh, you knew it was definite. Like the way I know that I will be a president. Yes. Right now I yes. know. Yes. And, and I'm and telling you, yeah. and I'm telling you today. Yes. You know, we had an interview with the Hussein Mohammed mm-hmm. before elections yes. in 2017. Mm-hmm. It was around 2015. Yeah. And he asked me, what do you think about the future? Mm-hmm. What do you want to become? Mm-hmm. And I told him, 2017, I'm going to be a member of parliament in Bakasi's constituency. Yes. You see, and people could think and start joking that, you know, maybe this guy, why is he saying his plans? Yeah. I'm telling you, Kenyans, yeah, if you have a plan, like say it. <laughs> no, say it. But there's also power in words, yes. spoken yeah. words. Yes. Yeah. So this idea to you, oh, why is he saying it yeah. should be bright? Brilliance dictates that you say it you. and you work towards it. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you today, let me ask you, Philip and Igunza, uh-huh. look at the National Assembly now. Yes. Look at governors. Mm-hmm. Look at senators. Look at women rep. Mm-hmm. Look at MCS. Yes. Is there anybody better than Babu Owino there? Just tell me. I'm not bragging, mm-hmm. but Igunza bro. <laughs> tell me. Unamini hakuna mtu anaweza kuuna mtu. In all the ails of life. Yes. Tell me. Mm-hmm. Why, why, why do you is there know? anybody who is more popular than me there? Hakuna. No, popularity Babu anajulikana. So hiyo inakupea imani kuwa utakuwa governor Nairobi. Definitely, I can tell you a hundred and one percent. Governor Nairobi. A hundred and one percent. After Saks. Not after. He's a placeholder. <laughs> what are you talking about? Saks has been put there yes. to clean the way for me. It's like yes. John the Baptist. Let me ask you. Yes. You are voters of Nairobi. Yes. You go there ballot in your ear. Mm. What are the parameters to judge that I want to vote for Babu or Saks? You will either say that you know Maze, uh, a leader who works, yeah. of course, Babu works way, way better. Okay, number two, you run to say the, uh, the intelligence quotient mm-hmm. of which Babu is at optimum. <laughs> number three, Utasema street smart. Yes. Um, yes. So, <laughs> ni religion, Babu sahiya ko religion. So, is so a placeholder. I can tell you. So next election, hundred percent. I can tell you. Next election. Yes. Unavai. Na ground watu umedeliver watu aki kujia kusema tuene tuene ubabu wa naongea. Even niki toka apa pigia mtiote wa Nairobi randomly. Suppose these people are on the ballot. Yes. Pigia nani? Tambiwa. So you've done your own also polls and everything yeah. else. I'm telling you, my brother, we are safe. Ni time to. <laughs> <laughs> but had it your first. But has it been easy for you as an MP, given the fact that you said your life is about others? Is it what you thought it's gonna be? Am I better out, Kukua? Either more, yeah, better. Am easy for you? Am I mekua a struggle in you? You had not anticipated, politically speaking. You know, Igunza, if anything was easy in life including manufacturing a baby mm. everybody would be doing it yes okay nothing is easy yeah. you have to work for something as a leader to me leadership is about others just the way i said it success to me before i became a leader was about myself was about what do i have which car do i drive mm. which house do i have which yeah. property do i have but after becoming a leader success to me is about igunza does Igunza have children who are going to school? Have they gone to school? Are you sleeping hungry? Is my constituent somewhere having bills somewhere? Have I done roads in Embakasi's constituency? What about water? What about sewerage and sanitation? Have I given them bursaries? That is now success to me. It's no longer about myself. Yes. And I can't admit that it's an easy way. I only admit that God grants me the wisdom mm. to ensure that what his people needs or what his people need mm. i grant unto them yes he blesses me to bless his people mm. he gives me to give his people 
he guides me to guide his people yes that is what my life is all about so right now as a member of parliament is about others you called uh, philip up a silver fork yeah now look at my silver lion now and again hey you know the same was up group yeah. 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 yeah take us through your 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 daily life as an mp this phone from the time i was sitting there up to now it rings 24/7 if i can put it just here yes to get to my vibration i am i am angalia after this yeah. i can assure you another one will come in mm. I can assure you. Yeah. So me waking up is about having a program. Mm-hmm. What do I have for number one, My family. I drop my children to school. Mm-hmm. First of all, I wake up, the first person I talk to is God. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because that is the person who knows where I am going. Mm-hmm. So the first thing that I do even you be, when you wake up before talking to any human being, speak to God. Because now then your ways will be open. Mm-hmm. Then after that preparing taking my children to I I have one hour to read on a daily basis uh-huh. one hour to read either just a book or just something but yeah. I must read yes. on a daily basis mm-hmm. because uh, leaders are readers yes, yes. yes at least access to information the best treasure is hidden in a book and then and 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 the only thing that can replace a book is the next book, book. so reading dropping my kids to school then after that my days in parliament if i have parliamentary sitting which are on uh, tuesday wednesday thursday then i go to parliament if not monday and friday i look for a way by which i can meet my constituents in the office or on the ground then uh, saturday i make it an easy day nowadays uh, i stopped drinking so it's not very easy to get me in joints but i but i but i find things that can also keep me busy yes. i also have some sporting activities to attend to training gym playing chess yes. pool table so many things and also even meeting just with friends in certain specific joints yes. yeah. not heavy mm-hmm. stuff but yeah. just light light stuff to catch up then on a, on sunday is purely my family day take my kids to mm-hmm. church yeah. with the whole of my family my wife we go to church then i take them somewhere to play mm-hmm. that is the time that now we also interact but on a daily basis i also sit down with them every evening yeah. going back home at least 10 minutes a day i give to every kid mm-hmm. to get to know how their day has been, their like. day has been. Yes. to get to know if there's a teacher they hate or like yeah. and if they hate a teacher i know that they'll fail in that subject mm-hmm. so i know how to correct it yeah. i know how to make them develop a uh, passion in that subject yeah. who are their best friends how are they how are their lifestyles the background how are their parents mm-hmm. because you have to know because yeah. probably somebody is being raised by a single parent then you see definitely there's going to be a Aga. problem mm-hmm. in the upbringing of that child so if that child is a child to my to my Friends daughter or child. son yeah. then i must know how how are they going to catch up how are they going to continue being friends mm-hmm. without negatively influencing each other but always positively yeah. influencing each other mm-hmm. and then after taking time with my with my children. children then it is time to play with my wife <laughs> <laughs> yeah well well do you fellowship what's the yes what's the where do you fellowship when you go to church I pray at parkland's baptist church mm. it's been uh, and historically there's something i jumped when i was telling you yeah how i got into parkland's baptist church they are very good uh, parents called uh, Mrs. Rono and uh, Margaret. Uh, Margaret and Rono they were their son Larry used to study with me in uh, A levels. So we were in the same yeah. we were in the same school millennium. Mm. So they told me to move in their house to assist Larry in matters academics. Yeah. Larry now is an engineer in the United States of America. Oh, yeah, so uh, in return I was given accommodation. I was staying in Runda with them. I moved in their house in Runda Crescent. I was staying there. They gave me accommodation, clothing, food, and in return in return uh I I helped Larry. Yeah. Yes. Are you still in touch with them? Education. Of course. Yeah. Of course. They are my family. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they introduced me to Parkland's Baptist Church. Okay. So from that time to now, I've been going there. And in terms of school, which system do your kids attend? Uh my sis- this is what I want uh, to do with my kids. I want them to get proper foundation 
proper proper foundation then after that they will just do the Kenyan system mm-hmm. yes so, so right, right now because now yeah. they are doing the Cambridge system yes. for the for the foundation yes because they are now in very they are, one is seven years another four another another 11 years mm. yeah. Yeah, the first born is 11 years mm. so all of them will do the Kenyan system yes. they will love to do the Kenyan system but the foundation I want to give a very solid foundation mm. so you believe uh, you have trust and belief in the Kenyan education system yes and I believe in the Kenyan education system because that is what has made me I don't believe in taking a child to an expensive school yeah. why because you can't do brain transplant okay and even in that most expensive school you know i always see people talking in bars and everywhere in joints that you know mimi my child is going to turi mara mine yeah. is going to uh Bru- brook house okay. i'm like okay so me who got first class from kisumu boys high school and nyalenda slums primary school uko yeah. what is it who are you what are you what is you it? know me <laughs> you know so that is lack of uh that is low self esteem yeah if you can take a child there don't take a child because you have money mm. take a child because that place can provide proper education yes it's not about money, it's not about money. yes because if it is about money then we would have not gotten an opportunity to be where we are yeah yeah so and to me is about is about the education speaking of education yes. if raila had won if everything had gone you would be what the cs education definitely what definitely. would you what would you have done like what would have been the first thing you did do you think or what do you think do you think the person who's there right now is doing a good job what would that would be what would have been your signature policy move yeah. and things like that so i know you are talking about i think uh, the best cs education was professor magoa mm-hmm. because magoa was a handsome person Magoa taught me one thing that too much delegation makes you lose power or control. He was my vice chancellor mm-hmm. at the University of Nairobi. Why, yeah. We worked, we worked together. <laughs> we worked together <laughs> with the prof and you know if you if you manage to get first class honors under Professor Magoa then then if there was anything above that yes. you could have scored that. Yeah. Because Magoa was star. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to matters education I would really emulate Professor George Magoa. Mm-hmm. Uh, and even the current cs is really trying still eight months in office can still give him time yeah. but uh one thing that i would have done in matters education i would have ensured number one that this idea of school fee is not paid at primary level which is not paid yeah. high school level yeah. yes, and yes, work yes. on a better way by which university also mm-hmm. gets free university education the moment you delink the idea of the fee mm. then a child can easily have a peace of mind to start performing so because most of these students they are looking for ways of survival mm. ways of looking for fees ways of survival so the child is preoccupied with a lot of things and even if it is not themselves looking for this mm. they know what their parents are going through yeah. so that alone is affecting them in one way or the other so work on the issue of the fees first mm. Then number two, work on the issue of teachers. Mm-hmm. Ensure that teachers are well paid. Yeah. yeah. If they're well paid, they'll be motivated. Okay? Yeah. The moment they are motivated, they will love their job. They will do it with passion. So they can well, impact the knowledge. Mm-hmm. They can impact knowledge properly to their learners. Yeah. Right now, if you look at junior secondary school, they haven't been paid the teachers. One teacher is handling over six subjects. How is that possible? how will you pray prayer for a subject a day before to come and impact the knowledge on the students the following day it's not possible which means you must you will need around six hours yes. every day to prepare for the following day's job now you also have time to spend with your family your personal issues so you can't you can't do it which means that as we speak even this cbc i know it's a fail thing right now we've not even paid the J, jss yes, yes. junior secondary school teachers for the past four months so what are we trying to do which means we are killing education if you want a nation to agree to to prosper, to prosper mm-hmm. number one work on the education system because the moment you work on the education system then you can employ based on merit meritocracy as was done in china sometime back by deng xiaoping remember he's the one who built china from chairman mao zedong but what did he do 
he used to employ people based on merit, such that if you come uh, to be a journalist, then there's an, an exam that you must do in that department, bare minimum. Yeah. At least we'll give direction. Yeah. But if you just get somebody out of nowhere, yeah. you put in this ministry, yeah. you put in this, this other ministry, that person doesn't know anything about that line, which yeah. means you're just doing that person a favor, but you're not helping other Kenyans. Yeah. You see? So the moment we motivate our teachers, the moment we pay them well, the moment we, 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 we let education be free, then I think things can run in the proper way. So that is what I would have done. Okay. Majorly. Do, do, do your kids know your babu or you know, like I'm sure you're, you're different. But do your kids know? No, no, no. You know my kids uh my kids are uh, I've been training them on a daily basis that you see these positions that we have are just privileges. These are positions that can go anytime. But what remains is family. That is the solid thing that remains. I told them that the only place where I can't be replaced is in this house. <laughs> yeah. As your dad, you can't replace me yeah. as your dad, you know? But any other place you can be replaced. So those are temporary things. They are means. It is, it is a job like being a lawyer, being a journalist, yeah. uh, uh, being a kondi, being yes. a driver, being a mtu jengo. It is just a job, yeah. like any other job. Nani msimu, by the way. Yes. Anytime. Nani msimu. Yeah, but the most important thing is being solid in our family. Yeah. So whatever I do in politics, whatever I say in politics, those are political statements. Mm -hmm. Whatever I say in the family is what is solid to this family. And, I, and I'll pick on those political statements and let's talk about theatrics. Mm -hmm. First of all, ulwai slap was yes, Jamaica students. You see, that was then, and you pia umejua nilikuwa na masira mingi ya nyalenda slums bila nilikuwa na nifanyia. You just do them because of age. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Age umejua pia ina, ina kuforce you can do certain things yeah. that you're not supposed to do. Yeah. But as you grow, yes. as you grow up, mm -hmm. a lot changes. Yeah. Una grow, unona watoto wako pia wana grow. Yeah. There are certain things that you must drop, you must shade off. Yeah. And you see even uh, a rocket. Mm. The moment you launch a rocket going to the target, it does not reach the target as a full oh, rocket. Yeah. It shades off. <clears throat> yeah. So that helps you to shade off bad mm -hmm. friendship, bad relationships. Yeah. It helps you to shade off, shade off some characters so that when you reach the destination, mm. Ukosawa. Ukosawa. Yes. And are there statements you are there things you've done before or statements you've made that you regret? I know kuna kunele moja uhuru wakati yuwa kimumana kabisa. Did you ever sit down to talk with him about that? We talked with Uhuru, although people misconstrued, there was yeah. misrepresentation of facts uh -huh. of what I said. Yeah. Everybody took this that thing the way they, they, they knew it. Yeah. Because I was simply comparing other presidents, but I never at any single time in that statement, mm -hmm. mentioned the name of Uhuru. Mm -hmm. If you look at that, that statement, I, yes, yes uh, there is nowhere I mentioned it. Now, culturally speaking, yes. if you go to the Luo culture, if you call somebody son of a dog, yes, culturally in Luo culture setup yes. means that you are embracing that person. Okay? Uh, they say Nyaguowa, that this is our person. Mm -hmm. Okay? Culturally, in Luo culture, that is a good statement. Uh -huh. It's not a bad one. Okay? In the Luo culture. By the way, I can't say it in public yeah. if it is something which is not yes. proper in the Luo culture. Yeah. Okay? Because it will definitely backfire. So if you say Nyaguowa, mm -hmm. Nyaguowa means somebody who is close to us, somebody good to us. Okay? And number two, I did not call the name of Uhuru. Yeah. I just said, Kama Bagbo a little lewa. Mm -hmm. Kama nani a little lewa. Kama wewe ni nani. So yes. wewe, the way people misconstrued wewe to mean <laughs> Uhuru, to me up to now I don't understand it. So it was misrepresentation of facts mm -hmm. or just mere statements of puff. Yeah. So to me, that was something different. But even with that, mm -hmm. me and you, we are work in progress. Yeah. We are still growing. Mm -hmm. We are still learning new things. We make mm -hmm. mistakes. We fall. We rise. Yeah. Just like a child. Mm -hmm. Ananguka, anataka kusmama, kutembea. Ananguka, napiga kichwa kwa meza. Yeah. Tena, naendelea tu. Tena, ananguka, tena. So we are born to make mistakes. That's why we are human beings. Yeah. You can make a mistake many, many, many times as you still grow 
the most important thing is never to lose focus, yes. to stay focused on where you are going, never to lose the eye on the ball, never to lose the sight of a gazelle for a dashing squirrel, yes. just move on. By the end of the day, so long as you get there. Yes. What you must never not do, what you must never do yes. is just to stop. Mm -hmm. Just move. Even, even if it is just a step. Yes. Yeah. It is a step towards success. Yes. I think that is the most important thing. And, and on this one, I'll go to a very, I know you've handled it and everything else, but anytime your name is mentioned, you trend on Twitter every other day mm -hmm. and DJ Evoke always comes up and everything else. And I know you've dealt with the family and everything else. Is that one of the reasons you stopped taking alcohol? Actually, because this matter is also coming up very soon, yes. uh, I would like to jump, yeah. but, but I will want to come and talk about this matter mm -hmm. in detail. Yes. In detail, because I must address it. Yes. So it is something that I will have to address. Mm -hmm. And uh, whatever happened, happened. Yes. I don't need to make anything yes. in public, mm -hmm. but... Uh, uh, whoever talks about it, keeps talking about it, it is also good yeah. for them to talk about it mm -hmm. because they are also they must also talk about it. So I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah. For me, I will need to get time. Mm -hmm. Do you watch movies? Do you watch series? Yeah. Home. Do you take drives? Home na penda kucheza chess sana na oh. cheza na wife mm -hmm. pia ni noma sana oh. kuja kwa mambo ya akili ni dangerous kabisa <laughs> yes. ni atari. Mm -hmm. So tunacheza chess to na watch movies like normal couples yeah. we go for movies ah. ile friday saturday sa zile watu wanaenda kwa ma club mimi na opt naweza enda kwa movie mm -hmm. yeah. nikae na wife huko tuna watch yes. yeah so pia we involved and napenda pool sana ah. uh, clubbing naenda once in a while mm -hmm. but natoka mapema ju umejua if you're not kama ugage yes. if you're not drinking you get sense. bored mm -hmm. you get bored very easily yeah. so you just opt to leave okay yeah. Because and with the, the people the people around you, like your bodyguards and stuff, because also all the drama from Kitambo, CG, guards, Nanim, is of it It was all because all of you guys were high, you and your friends. Yeah, yeah. So has that that now has gone down. You know the, the issue of security yeah. is a personal initi initiative. Yeah. And uh higher levels, higher devils. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the higher you go the more secure you should be, mm -hmm. depending on your ambition also, yes. because you should not take it for granted. And uh, former president Uru Kenyatta said, security is a personal initiative yeah. and it's a going concern. Yes. Security ni wewe, mm -hmm. kwanza. Yeah. So ni wewe, you must ensure that you secure yourself because you can't just take it for granted that nothing can happen. Yes, exactly. The moment you become uh, a rising star, mm -hmm. a lot of interest develop. And with that interest, you must protect yourself. Number two, around that environment where you are, mm -hmm. security must also be there because there are so many things you will avoid. Petty issues, petty arguments, yes. you will avoid them, you know. And also, as, as yeah. somebody who came from abject poverty, yes. then all this money is here and everything else. Could this also have been that where kicho inafura kidogo, unatambia mahali mudu anakuangalio, unajua ni kuna pesa ngapi? No, I've never had that in my life. I've oh. never had that idea that I must tell you what I have. Your money can be somebody's tithe. No, but at that no. point you are young. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm but, assuming. But generally, coming there, yeah. also when you're young, yes. you have power, you're a member that. of parliament, you've been elected, yes. and you have some little money here that and there. Yeah. yeah. So also, if you're not trained how to manage this, mm -hmm. it can mess you up. Yeah. So power and money can be very beneficial yes. and can also be very detrimental yes. on the other hand mm -hmm. if you're not trained how to handle power mm -hmm. at an early age yes. then it can destroy you yes because you may think that you are god and you're not god do you, you see that need... with politicians right now these new politicians i can see that with some politicians yes. but uh because i've been there before yes so i know that mtu anaweza tembea hivi na anguke hivi ni kama mtoto unajua tu ah huyu kama anaanguka ataanguka tu hapa you see? Mm. But you see, some of us, we've learned this from experience, mm -hmm. that we would not want to be burnt again. Yes. And I've come to realize that the moment you're a leader, mm -hmm. just focus on people. Because mm -hmm. that is the reason why you are there. Mm -hmm. You know, you who as a journalist, you're yeah. concentrating on journalism. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see? So then, as a member of parliament, I should concentrate on the reason why I was put there as a member of parliament. Yeah. Is it my side shows? They are yes. neither here nor there, because... Yeah. 
they don't help any other person mm. furthermore inakuaribia more mm. the moment usimame wanze kusema uko na dona nini how does that money impact into the lives of your people yeah. that is what you should be talking about yeah. you should not be talking about having it na wewe ndio kweni wewe ndio mtu mwenye uko na dona kushinda kila mtu but at na naweza vitu online sahi especially everybody now wanting kuingia mambo ya wash wash na kila kitu kwa sababu a few people wanashinda kionyeshana pesa so unaangalia unaangalia uko eh let me tell you sir mimi pesa mm. money is not everything mm-hmm. money is just but a means yeah you who is staying in karen or runda or lovington mm-hmm. or kile or anywhere you sleep you wake up you pay school fees yeah. you have your food yes that person who is in soweto in embakasi east slums and in kibra mm-hmm. also sleeps wakes up school fee mm. food yeah. ile kuku nakula hapa radison blue yes five star hotel yeye pia kuna kuku yake tu ya sombili ma unaona hiyo yenye iko more fresh than yenye hii imekakwa fridge unaelewa yeah. so issue about money is relative mm. it is not the only thing that lazima nikuje niambie igunza that umejua niko na do na nini so hot mm. bwana we have re- billionaires underground. Yes. E ground iko wealthy kukushinda. Mm. Juu yes. imezika yeah. mabillionaires. Yeah. So this idea of uh, what you're driving it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So Wacha nikwambie today. You know those are people who are not living their lives. Mm-hmm. They are living other people's lives. People who don't care about them also. Because the moment size niko na show na na igunza tumeonyeshana the way we are. Mm. You the consumer utai forget as fast as you can remember it. Would I forget the fastest because ukikanyaga tu inje story imeisha yeah. but by the end of the day mm. I was trying to prove to you yeah. how much I am worth how good life I'm living yeah. but that doesn't matter success the most important thing that will make you happy deep down in your heart is when you tell me you come you tell me bwana babu umejuli nilipia mtoto wangu fee siku hizi huyu mtoto ako high school siku hizi huyu mtoto ako university siku hizi huyu mtoto amepata kazi you feel happier than even hiyo pesa nyumebeba kwa mfuko yeah. yes. so this idea of walking around that we ni boss boss wa nani everybody ni boss kivya kivya yeah. everybody is a master yeah. of their destiny and leading their own lives hakuna yeah. story ati ni kuambia how much i have mm. wherever i've gone ati nikiwa mahali lazima nijipige picha niseme niko ngambo mm. niko kwa ndege yeah is only nonsense bon na kama mp you know, what we call baldadash baldadash <laughs> <laughs> kama mp unasiki kenyan politics imekuwa perceived to be the shortest route towards wealth creation okay and you can tell us more about that but was one on anga kuko mp pia niko kona ganji all the time we experience yako imekuonesha je ikifika ni mambo na kutoa pesa kwa mfuko na kutumia kwa wale ambao they look up to you na wale wanakujua kijua babu wako na ganji Bro, one me, I was born a very generous person. Yeah. Very generous. Mimi nikiwa na do uniambie uko na shida, that is what I'm supposed to do. That is part of my life. You are part of my life. Mimi nikiwa na ganji. Itaisha the fastest. Nikiwa na do unipigie uko na maneno ya matanga nitatuma. Uko na mambo ya fee nitatuma. Uko na mambo ya bili ya hospitali nitatuma. Do yenye situmi kwa uraisi sana ni ile ndi bana nipe do niende nikunywe. Yeah labda unidanganye kwa njia tofauti mm. yes nitatuma because na feel that ukiwa na shida na feel your pain yenye nilifeel at some point mm. so i recruit you as part of my plans mm. so hii maneno ya ku handle do sa zile mimi niko na do kwanza nataka hata nipate mingi zaidi so that nisaidie ni watu wengi zaidi that's why in every stage in life after mp nataka governor so that kwa hiyo governor kuna more resources na ku help more people kienda preso more resources more people yeah. so nataka ni expand hiyo area yangu ya ku help mm. so to mimi do yangu si yangu do yangu ni do yetu tunatumia do ngapi kwa siku that depends on also what you have because yeah. uh, Uwezi sema tu this is the specific amount yenye natumia but, but there are days that you can there are days that uh, like when i was campaigning in a day i could spend like 5 million in a day because naenda lazima ni niwachie ni watu kitu for appreciation of their time mm. so unapata uko na watu hata kama 10000 no that was appreciation 
<laughs> Let me tell you something. Yes. You can't buy votes. Mm. Let me today be honest with you. Ukiona mtu amechaguliwa, people wanted to people wanted that person to yeah. win. On a election in Nairobi ya Kidero na Songo. Yes. Kidero alikuwa na billions. Songo akufikia hiyo level, hiyo time, but Songo alichaguliwa. Ona Peter Kenneth na Songo kwa nominations. Mm-hmm. Ona Waititu na Kabogo. Mimi 2017 na Muraid. He had niliona kwa account yake hivi 500 million Kenya shillings. Na wewe? Na mimi nilikuwa na, na only 15 mic. So alikuwa natoa 500,000 kwa fundraising ya church mimi na toa tao tatu mm-hmm. but i was elected yeah. people vote with their conscience people vote because they believe you can change their lives kula because kwa voting, kwa voting is by mm-hmm. secret ballot yes. unaelewa bwana acha nikwambie ati nimekupatia utanipigia kura <laughs> na we unaona unaona ballot hivi so unaona at the ballot kuna nyanya unaweza pata mtu mzee amekuja anasema pigia nani mm-hmm. take nani because the conscience mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo unapata kiasi tu unapata sikukaya campaign unge spend as much as 5 million a day. Yes. Now that you you got that set. Yes. Msharako na gusanga. Kwa shughuli ya wananchi. This is what I did. Kwa mshara yangu nilisema there are those who helped me work. Kwa constituency. Yeah. There are around 180. 180 per month na walipia rent. Mm-hmm. Some wanapata 1000 some tao tao 10 some 20 it depends for the next 5 years, years. Wow. na wali pia rent yao as a sign of appreciation yes. kuna wale watu wenye every month wana issues zao ma bills mm. manini ma hospital bills uh, mambo za mtu kama mededi yeah. mambo za school fees pia yeah. bursary alone is not enough yeah. utapatia mtu bursary kesho tena mtoto amefukuzwa for another term mm. you have to chip in yeah. those are the things that i do with you maneno yangu ya salary una bila home tech kwa sababu ni pata kuliza bibi akisikia bila lazima pesa yako ni ya wananchi yako wewe la nyumba lazima irani my wife understands me uh-huh. you know if you marry a person who understands you yes. a person who can reason with you a person mwenye vision yako na yeye iko hivi yes. definitely you know where you are going yeah. definitely you know that this is what where we want to reach this is how we want to reach it yeah. of course you have to also save for family yeah. you have to also You have to provide for your family yeah. because yes. as a leader if you can't provide for your family then you can't provide for others. Mm-hmm. So you start with family family because charity begins at oh. home as you move because you cannot take care of somebody's wife and you don't take care of your own wife. Mm-hmm. Yes. You cannot take care of people's children and you don't care, so take care of your own children. Wait, so so says hiyo ndo ingine inatoka wapi? Jukaa yako yote ya mshahara ya serikali inaenda kwa wananchi ingine nayo how do you make sure you must stay afloat financially na family pia i safi you know in life if you are not employed na job moja tu for example in the corporate world or even people in the corporate world have other businesses they are running yeah. we also have other things that we are doing yeah. other businesses that we are running mm-hmm. that at this level we would also want them to be chini ya maji yes because uh, unaweza ongea hivi unaambiwa bano jai lipa tax from na hivi unaomba kwa yale na hivi na hizi hizi tax ni nomo unje sahi sahi kwa mshahara yako afadhali serikali wachukue mshahara wa kuachie tax because tax ni more kushinda kwa mshahara wacho tax unaelewa lakini ni economic sectors gani zenye una ku involved nazo away from politics in terms of is your business on some of the I don't want to go so much into details because the, there are some of the private things that I do very legit mm-hmm. I wouldn't want legit. to legit yeah what Kaka I know you know you know mm-hmm. what the moment the moment uko kwa the moment uko kwa opposition yes na uko a vocal member of parliament are in opposition so that is the time that somebody can start just putting things yes anaanza kusema oh wewe ndio unaongea hivi sasa mm-hmm. hivi wewe ndio unafanya yes. hivi sasa hivi yeah. so i wouldn't want to go into some of the things yeah. that i do mm-hmm. yeah ndio so a meme ya wash wash yeah uliko nasema mambo ya wash wash mm-hmm. niliona meme ati watu walikuwa nasema kitambo that uh, baba yetu sasa zile alikuwa na work we yako alikuwa ushaagoa <laughs> makwa na work So sasa hizi watu wanafanya wash wash usianze kuuliza watu huko mbeleni that time ya wash wash wewe ulikuwa wapi yeah. yeah so all in all umejua watu wanatafuta 
watu wanatafuta na mimi sina the yardstick ya kuanza kusema that hii business ni mbaya hii si poa so long as it is within the ambit of the law so long as ni kitu yenyewe mwenyewe unaweza justify watu wana hustle people do very many things very different things ya kutafuta pesa so i'm not the first person who will judge them i will not start castigating so ntaiwachia tu hapo yes <laughs> so uh, yo is your online classes are holy lazo like what was took us sana but the people are really surprised at how smart babu is alikuwa anafanya hesabu hapa na juzi ulikuwa unasema kuna watoto walikuja akakwambia ni wao ulifanya wakapita yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh. you know philip niliona kwamba niko na talent and uh, as a leader if i have talent i need to share it with others na nilikuwa naona that i could easily i could easily help our children it was, it was not just about teaching but it was who was teaching because a child somewhere in garissa akiona babu anafundisha anasema if babu can do this thing i can do it 10 times better so it was motivating our children yeah. and you see they were coming out and saying i passed because of babu yeah. there's another child in uh, in marsabit in mandera sorry he said that i used to get only 200 marks but now i have 390 marks but it is babu that made me get these marks You're that is, to break down that is the, the level of motivation you know it was it could just be maths alone that i was yeah. teaching yeah. but a child could develop interest in other subjects by virtue that if babu can do it i can do it mm. and the way again i was impacting that knowledge mm. the way i was dispensing it carelessly yeah. the way in likwa na, na, na i break down yes. they could see that it was easy and they could develop easy interest in that subject and yes. other subjects so to me It was about motivating our children because I know between you and me it is because of education that is where I am why not for education I would have never stepped in Nairobi why not for education I would never be a student leader why not for education I would never be a member of parliament so it is because of education so education going through education can make you study what you went what you studied uh, uh, practice what you studied yes. or be in another field but mm-hmm. the bottom line is education. education so i know it is through education that can make a child in mandera a child in kisumu a child in central sit on the same table yes. with the gunza here yes. with philip here with babu here yes. with the president mm-hmm. with any other person so education is an equalizer to all bring us together on the same table without education yeah. a lot is lost yeah. a lot is lost you can still make it through talent and other fields yeah. but a lot is lost mm. so if we say have you ever wondered why even a mama mama mboga mm. or a baba mwenyana anaenda mjengo concentrates they know that they didn't go through the education system probably because of one reason or the other mm. fee nini mambo zingine yeah. but if you see the way this parent is looking for fees for the child yeah. tells you that even that person who didn't go to school has faith in education yeah. and has faith and it is that education that will make those children at least remove those parents from Mio kuuza mbog from Mio kuendesha boda boda yeah. so to me i believe 100% in education if i was told to do anything in this country and only one thing yeah. is to ensure everybody at least to guide the class of fundisha after maybe politics after mego president na kila kitu <laughs> before that yeah. i'm going to be a lecturer at the university of nairobi oh. a lecturer at actual mathematics mm-hmm. yeah i talked to the vice chancellor mm-hmm. and he, we agreed i just want to go and give back mm. oh, that's yes. nice so, so very soon utaniona <laughs> in the lecture hall when the class as a kuna sengina alisema pia one of the reasons as to why kwa legal kwa lecture hall son as a student and leader yeah. is because you are also an informant no you know nice you that i can't even talk about it you cannot inform as you fight the same system again and what are you informing about what did the what did the government need to know about the university do you madam i'm a boy people who come from poor backgrounds what do you want to inform about them they have enough they have enough nis mm-hmm. yeah. to do that work and even today nikipewa kazi ya nis director mm-hmm. siwezi chukua It's not me. Yeah. Yeah. Atuna kana mimi hapa kumuona chukua information na kwenda kupeana. 
So, uh, so Sai, uh, maybe as as we as we as we wind, wind up. up, what is to you what like if you did not? I know you said you wanted to be a politician from Kitambo, but come a politics in your work. What would you have done if politics did not go the way you you probably had the vision? It's about the isness, not the oughtness. Bizarre. Yeah, so it is what I'm doing now. That is what we can discuss. Yeah. You do not the have oughtness, any other thing the complaint. oughtness is not what is existing. Yeah. So it is what is existing now is that I'm a leader yes. and that is what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Suppose I wasn't doing what I'm doing, yeah. then I would be practicing actual science, of which I'm, 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 I'll be opening an actual farm, oh. and then a law farm. Oh, oh, yes. Nice. Mistake, we have some education, but how, how, how do we end up with people that we may say are not suitable for the elective positions that we have in the country, and what would be your word to the electorate when it comes? Because it's by the virtue of having people maybe who are not suitable, that we end up with policies and systems that are not suitable, including the education system that you're talking about. If we had the white person there, then we wouldn't be where we are, okay? But for us to get the right person there, we have to have the right people being actually elected at the, at the, at the, at the ballot. You know, at election, a lot play at stake, and uh, probably some, like in this election that we just uh, passed, it was all about the wave. Wave played a lot. If you look at the Kenya Kwanza, wave of the hustler and what. Mm-hmm. Uh, look at Azimio, wave of Azimio. So by the end of the day, wave played a lot. So, so many leaders were elected as a result of the wave. But if you ask me, if I'm a voter, I always vote based on education. My voting is just about, is this leader educated or not? That's it. Because education organizes. There's flow of thoughts. There's organization of thoughts. There's a way somebody knows how to manage things. Because the moment you are elected, you are going to manage an office. Mm. And if you're managing an office, I would advise electorates just to elect leaders who are very brilliant upstairs. We'll help them. Yeah. We'll help them. Look at the history of leaders who are not educated, all of them. Just in Giza too, my Indiako too. Yes. Now, education does not mean that you just go and sit in class. True. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yes, about. Yes. There are those also who attended the class, mm-hmm. but Ako too up. Exactly. Education ni uyu mtu anaelewa chenya nafanya. And look at all leaders. Wanze, all leaders from president mm. to MCA, Uniambi mwenye, mwenye akukwe educated, mwenye me succeed ku deliver services. Akuna. I can tell you for free. Out apata. Now, the moment these electorates wanna make decision, they should make their decisions based on this leader, is this leader well informed? Information, knowledge is power. Then after that, akutakuwa na shida. After that, hata hizi maneno za greed, nini. Greed pina kuja tu because of mtu ajui to the extent anaweza anafaa fiki. Yeah, yes, that's a big, and that is because of? Lack of knowledge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lazima tuwe. Anafaa kuto ikuishia hapa. Unaelewa? Yeah. Yes. And Juzi, ju- ju- you, you are ranked as the best performing MP in Nairobi and number two countrywide. Yes. Did you agree with the number two? Ama, ajani ni, ni kama education kutoka class yes, three, yes. alikuanga top three. <laughs> what I must say yeah. is that Ndindi uh, Nyoro, who, is, who was uh, number one yes. and still holding the position of number one, mm-hmm. he has worked. Yes. He you has worked. For that, he right? has worked. Yes. So I must agree that yeah. he worked. Mm-hmm. So if he worked and the polls ranked him at number one, yes. then it only tells me as number two that I need to do better. I need to improve in certain areas yes. because he beat me with around 1.6%. Yes. He had 73 point uh, something, I had 72 point something. Yeah. So I must work harder mm. to ensure that I beat him in the next yeah. ranking. Yeah. But save for the issue of Kenya Kwanza and Azimio, mm. he, has, he worked. Yeah. He's, in, he's in Kenya Kwanza, but I, was, I must say that he has yes. worked. Mm. I have, I've also worked, but yes. I've not done better than he has done yes. according to the people who ranked us. Yes. Okay, yes, so right. I must work be- huh? yes. harder to mm-hmm. ensure that I catch up. Last question. Who's the most famous person on your phone? My wife. 
<laughs> as the most important. Yes. Important and urgent. Yes. Not just important. Chukua, but in terms of levels like leadership and everything else, not presidents or whatever. Like the first time maybe a president called you, did you like, hala? The first time I was called by a president was Kibaki when I was a student leader. Ah, okay. Yes. Directly. Yes. Yeah. As a student leader, and he wanted me to to talk to him on matter students. Okay. And we sat in state house and we talked. So the end of state house, so he was today. That was yeah. fire. Okay, talk I'll go pick a kid. Of course, Lazim watch your match. Thank you very much. Yeah. Goza. <laughs> Goza. <laughs> Goza. <laughs> Goza. <laughs> My wife is important. Yes. We, pia madem wana kupenda. Yes. Wana simanga you are handsome, yes. uko loaded, you have power <laughs> and influence. How do you deal with that? Igunza. Na hapa hivi utuambia pia kaa kuna mresha ako 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 with that. The next the next nikirudi tu uko nyuma tena. <laughs> the next person in the famous pia ni ako speed dial pia ni baba. Mm-hmm. Because that is my political yes. father. Mm-hmm. I'm, I look up to him. Yeah, so yeye is my leader mm-hmm. and my political father. Yes. Now, kikuja kwa history, uh, madam, they say, good women come from God. A beautiful woman comes from God. God. A handsome man comes from the bank. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, he uh-huh. maneno ya wife. Bro, the moment you will appreciate the importance of a partner is when there are challenges. And the challenges that you go through, if your partner is by your side always and supporting you and being strong by your side and praying for you, then that is the right person in your life. Hii maisha hii yenye watu wanasemanga oh me that they can't value wives, they can't value women. Then why did you marry that person? Come yes. with in value, come with in trust. Yeah. Why, why did you marry that person? Yeah. People still don't know how to handle marriages. I'm not saying that I'm perfect in it. But I've stayed with my wife for 13 years. Mm-hmm. But people don't know how to handle wives yeah. and their families. Mm-hmm. Wewe umetoka kugage, ukitoka kugage, you always want to be right. Mm-hmm. So the most important thing is how do you relate with your wife? Are you compatible? Do you communicate? Yeah. Do you date? Mm-hmm. Do you rise above petty issues? Do you have sufficient or rather enough sex or love making in this family. Yes. What is it? It's not just about money in the family. Money is just there but to speed up yeah. things like kama fee nini. But at easier. every yeah. level, mm-hmm. even people in the slums are married. Yes. So hiyo money ni psychological mambo ni, ni mambo tu ya psychology because at every level you can afford something. Mm-hmm. If you can't afford this, you can afford this in a family. You still get that as an option. Mm-hmm. But how are you relating to your wife? And remember, marriage is a union between two persons. That is a woman and a man to the exclusion of all others. You only invite God in it. But others, candle. So imaneno watu wamekaa kwa ba, ah, bana mi bibi yangu hata juu nina, nina kuanga na dongapi, na, na utaki ya juwe. Then why did you marry this person? And you see, this is a lifetime partner. So ni negative vibes in unaleta kwa marriage ndi na kudestroy wewe mwenyewe kwa sababu wife yako mwenyewe akishajua sasa huyu anaongeanga hivi huyo yes. ni mtu ana plan nayo future aje mm-hmm. na somebody amekubali amekupatia watoto huyo mm-hmm. ni somebody wants to spend time with you yeah. and spend their life with you so hii maneno ya kuleta Kiswahili mingi hiyo ni story yake sasa zangu so wewe wife anajua account yako venye inakaa kila kitu na yake unajua at worst mm-hmm. at worst kama tuseme wife yako amechukua pesa yako yote si anaenda kufeed na watoto wako yeah. si wanaenda kusoma usi usi kitoka si wanatumia so hiyo ni better mm. it's better but wewe ukiwa na 200 shillings na wife awe na 200 shillings hii yako inaweza ingia gauge ile yake utapata chakula kwa me Amen. so they are also very good managers mm. na the moment uko na proper wife na proper wife ni wewe kama husband how do you set the pace you are the head of the family yes. How do you set the pace? Mm. What are the rules? How are things supposed to be run in your family? Si ati bana wife ukionanga wife sasa una unasema ni kama enemy bwana. Unataka <laughs> unataka ujifiche. Unasema huyu ni huyu ni mtu was hata kama kushinda alshabab. Yeah. That, that should not be the case. Now you realize anytime you are in a challenge, your friends they do run away. Yeah. Why? 
because you are never friends. It's only interests that attached you together. That's true. But your wife is your partner. Huyu ni mtu wako. Acha kupata kwa ngori labda mresh ameku reach out to uka respond in a flirtatious manner. You know, when, I was a, when I was a student leader, I did everything I wanted to do. Kama ni warembo, nilikuwa nao. So inafika point kama mwanaume. So for retirement. Mi sa hizi ni meritire. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, inafika <laughs> mahali, igunza. Yeah. Inafika mahali ukiona mrembo, unanza kusema nao, what do I want to achieve with that? Yeah. Do I want her to invest emotions kwa mm-hmm. What is it that I want to achieve with that? Apart from kupiga tu, what do you want to achieve? <laughs> Thank you, Baboino. Sandy Sana, this was an amazing show. Episode 2, it's a wrap. Sandy Sana. Thank you.